Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Debian 12 and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and search for Debian. Click on the first website which is the official website of Debian. Scroll a little bit down and click on more. After that go to the right side and click on download and after that if you want to download the internet installer you can download the left section and if you want to download the complete installer then you can download the bottom section and if you want to try Debian before installing then you can look at the right bottom section for this video I'm going to download the complete installation of Debian so I'm going to click on complete installation image and after that you can click the first option and after that go down until you see DVD and you can choose the system architecture for most computer it is AMD 64 click on that and download the Debian 12 ISO file since I have already downloaded it I'm not going to download again once you have finished downloading go to another tab and search for Rufus go to the first website from Rufus and download the latest version of Rufus So once you have finished downloading the ISO file and Rufus, you need to close your web browser and you need to insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive because your pen drive data will be lost. And after that, open downloads directory and open Rufus. Now select the ISO file which we just downloaded and after that for the partition scheme choose GPT and click on start. This process is going to take some time so I'm going to cut this part. So finally this process is completed. Now you can close everything and you can right click on your start menu and click on disk management. Now select any local disk with large space and right click on it and select shrink volume now give at least 30 GB of space for Debian and click on shrink now it will create a free space now close disk management and it's time to restart our computer Now while your computer is restarting, press F12 key or escape key to boot into the boot menu section of your BIOS and you need to select USB option to boot into Debian installer. Here you need to choose graphical install and press enter twice and you need to wait for the installer to show up. Now here choose your installation language and your keyboard layout. Now here you need to choose between your Ethernet connection and Wi-Fi. For this video I am going to use Wi-Fi and if you choose Wi-Fi you need to enter your Wi-Fi password after choosing the Wi-Fi network. Now type your desired host name and then your domain name and after that you will be asked to put a user password and a root password. Just type your root password and create a user and type your user password. Now we arrived at the most important part of the installation which is to partition the disks. So here you need to choose the manual partition and you need to locate the free space which we just created using windows now you need to select the free space in my case it is 30 GB and you need to click on continue 
and after that you need to select the option which says automatically partition the free space and click on continue and choose the first option which says all files in one partition now it will automatically create a partition for us as you can see it created one ext4 partition and a swap partition now once you are happy with the partitioning you need to select the option which says finish partitioning and write changes to disk and you need to select yes now here you need to choose yes if you want to fast up the downloads in Debian and you need to choose your nearest mirror according to your region now it's time to choose a desktop environment by default it is GNOME you can also choose to install multiple desktop environment if you want So finally our Debian installation is completed. Now you can click on continue to reboot your computer. But before that make sure to remove the USB first. And after you click on continue your computer will automatically reboot into the Debian. And once you start your computer you will see the grub menu to choose between the operating system. And if you don't see this menu then you can change the boot priority in the BIOS menu. For now I am going to boot into Debian to see if it is installed correctly. So as you can see we have installed Debian successfully and it is working just fine. Now let's try to reboot into Windows to check if our Windows is working or not. So to boot into Windows during the grub menu choose the option which says Windows Boot Manager and it will boot into Windows. So as you can see we are also able to boot into windows as well. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.